All right, so we're moving through. <clears throat> all right, so you're moving through the different tables. We're actually looking at all the arthropods. Uh, one of the tables, as you know, you might know at this point, is the echinoderms, which is not an arthropod. But anyway, you're at the chelopoda and diplopoda table. These are the centipedes and the millipedes. Um, you know, probably the group I know the least about, but you know, we're going to try and go through and get some characteristics of of both groups and and and, and get it get you to a point where you can tell the difference pretty quickly. And there's really an easy way to tell. So let's start by looking at um, the the beads. Um, this this group is divided into two different tagmata. Okay, those are the body segments. Uh, so we have a head and we have a trunk. So the head's a very small portion of, of the organism, and then you have the, the longer trunk. Now that trunk is divided into segments. All right. So um, the, the next thing here says one pair of antennae with fourteen or more segments. Whoa. Sorry about that. And uh, there's one pair of legs per trunk segment. So if we're looking at what we would consider the trunk of the organism. There's one pair of legs per segment, and I'll show you what I mean in a second when we get to the pictures. Um, I'm going to finish talking about what's on this slide, but remember you can pause this slide at any time to write the notes down in your packet. Um, the math parts, there's one pair of mandibles and two pair of maxilla. Uh, the appendages on the first trunk segment are claw-like poison jaws or fangs, which the centipede uses to paralyze their, play, their prey. And, and I find it interesting, you know, in, in, in all these videos, I've tried to tell you what these words mean, like chalapata. What does that mean? Um, well, the, the the first part of the word is referring to like a lip. You know, I, I tried to look it up on dictionary.com and Wikipedia and, and see if I could get a better explanation. But if you think of each segment, it forms kind of like a lip between each segment. So the class name refers to the lip-like appearance of the fused bases of these appendages. Um, eyes might be present or absent, and they, they think there's about 8,000 species, of which we've only, we've only described about 3,000. So here, there's about 5,000 species of centipedes out there that, you know, if you want to do something with your life, maybe you can go out, find those, describe them, name them after your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever, you know, whatever moves you. So, and I'll let you read this last little part here on your own. It just gives you some, you know, information about where we might find them and, uh, and some other stuff like that, what their, what their bite is like, and they're dangerous to people. So you might want to pause it here so you can get that stuff taken care of. Fill out your arthropod packet that we have to go with these, with these tables and, and read that paragraph. Great. So here's some pictures uh, of centipedes. And what we want to know, you know the big thing here, that it, the big characteristics here we're talking about is the fact that there's two, se there's two body sections, you know, the head and the trunk. And the head, like I said before, the head's just a small portion. You know, we have just a little head here, and then we have these long trunks. Um, this picture does a nice job of showing us the head. It shows us how we have the antenna. It shows where the poison claws are, the maxilla, which are the mouth parts, and the antenna. The best way to figure out what you're looking at. Is it a centipede? Is it a millipede? How many legs per segment? And all these pictures we can see. For each segment, there's one pair of legs. So here's a segment, and there's a leg here and a leg here. Go to the next segment, same thing. You can see it really nicely here. You have a segment and one pair of legs. So we're only seeing the one side of, of the organism, so we can only see that one leg there. Easiest way to tell. And we're going to find that the millipedes are different. So let's look at those, um, the, the, the dilopidas. Um, they, they again have these two tagmatas, these two body sections. They have the head and the trunk. One pair of antenna. Uh, they usually have seven segments. Usually. Two pairs of legs on most trunk segments. So 30 or more pairs total. Mouth parts. Uh, one pair of mandibles and one pair of maxillae. Eyes are usually present. There's about 10,000 species of these guys. Now, if you read the paragraph about the centipede, one thing you found out is those guys are more predaceous. They, you know, they can be really good at controlling pest insects because they eat other insects. Millipedes are are not pre normally predaceous. They're they're going they're more scavengers, going after decaying plant material. Um, sometimes they'll attack living plants and maybe 
sometimes you know sometimes to a point where they become a pest. Every now and then we might find a predaceous one, but that's not as that's not as common. And again, if you need to pause here to write some of this down, go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and look at some of the pictures here. Now we have a live uh, giant uh, millipede in the classroom. Make sure you get a chance to, to look at that. You can pick him up and hold him and uh, get kind of up close and personal. But really, we'll just point out on these pictures the same kind of things. There's two body se sections. We have the head and then the trunk. But this is a great picture to show us. On each segment, instead of having just one pair of legs, we now have two. So notice how there's four legs here, or two pairs <clears throat> for that segment. Again, here we have a segment, four pairs of legs, or two pairs of legs, or four legs. So really, if it comes down to us asking a question, how do we tell the difference between the centipedes and the millipedes, it's how many legs are, are there on a segment. Centipedes have one pair of legs, millipedes have two pair of legs. Millie is more than senti. You know, that's kind of how I always remember it. All right, great. Um, check out what's at the table and, and, and move on. Thanks for watching.